Have you ever driven down a country road on a moonless night and turned off your headlights? Now don't do this for more than a second or two because it's like driving into complete nothingness. It's amazing how those two small pencil beams of light allow you to navigate a twisting country road even in the blackest night. Mind you, you sometimes wonder to yourself why the road curves so much. Why can't they just make this road straight? This world is like night, and the world to come is like day. It's possible to see at night if you turn on your headlights, but there's a big difference. At night, your vision is restricted, restricted to what's illuminated in the beams of your headlights. By day, you can see the whole picture. In daylight, it becomes clear why the road twists and turns so much, why sometimes you go up and sometimes you go down. Over here, there's a hill, there's a river over there, a chasm. In this world, a person catches a few brief excerpts of reality, mere flashes of the way the creator runs his creation. The rest is night. With only a few chapters of world history at our disposal, we can't visualize the whole of his story, God's story, history, from where it's coming, from where it's going. That's why this world is like night. In the world to come, everything will become as clear as day. We'll understand why Hashem did what he did, why the road had to have this bend, why we had to go so far down. That's what Moshe was told by Hashem when he said, my face you cannot see. In this world, you can't see God's face, God's direct control of the world in the bright light of day. But his back, the telltale footprints in the snow of history, that's clear for all to see if we keep our headlights on. Thank you.